This is going to be a video on a zone X uh, zone damper. Um, if you've seen filter changers video, he has a video on a um, Honeywell uh, ARD zone damper. And uh, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, it's a pretty good video. I never thought about doing that, um, flipping the gear inside of it. So came across this one and uh, figured I'd take it apart and find out why it stopped working and uh, shoot a little video on it. This is a, like I said, it's a Zone X. Uh, it's a TR16. 16 is for a 16 inch round. Sorry for the echo. Uh, I'm in my garage. Uh, this was manufactured date code 2007. Um, has a little control board on here. Basically, its only purpose is for that little red LED on there. Um, that light comes on when the damper is being powered closed or is closed. Uh, kind of like a little dummy light doesn't have the green light like some do when it's open just a red light for telling you when it's got power when it's closed um, but it's a two wire damper power closed spring open this is the spring um, that opens the damper when it doesn't have power going to it uh, pretty much the same as the Honeywell um, just designed a little different this is the motor um, I have the cover taken off the outside of it. Um, I had to cut this panel off so you can actually get inside of it. All of this is, is encased in the motor. Um, but this damper, it was overheating a section of the customer's house. Sometimes it was working properly, sometimes it wasn't. Um, so I figured I'd take it apart and see why it was not working properly. Um, I have it hooked up right now to a uh, little trainer that I have built over here. There's a transformer over there. Uh, that's for another video. I haven't finished it, but I'm um, using the transformer on that to power this motor. Go ahead and turn the power on, and uh, you can see the gears moving. This little T shaped shaft on the top of it is what closes the damper, it attaches to the, to the shaft of the damper. Um, as you can see it's working right now um, it gets to a certain point where it'll actually stop without the damper connected to it this motor should just spin and spin and spin there's nothing to stop it um, hopefully it will stop so I can show you what I'm talking about we'll see how that goes on video um, and like I said sometimes it would work sometimes it wouldn't you can see the teeth right there on this top gear are uh, chewed up a little bit. Just want to see if this will stop on camera so I can show you. It'll probably spin forever now that I'm videoing it. But... Oh, it's making some funny noises. There it goes. You can actually see, oh, it's trying to grab. It grabbed. Alright, but it did stop for a second. Let me turn the power off real quick and I'll show you why. This is the actual motor itself. The camera will focus. It's got that little gear right there. Um, that's, what's, that's what the motor spins. It actually lines up into this hole. Um, if I can get some light on it actually lines up into that hole and there's it mates with a couple of these gears in here um, which eventually mates with some more gears and turns this damper motor but you can see right now it's just this top gear is spinning none of the other gears are you can hear it every once in a while it tries to grab there's a small gear inside of here that's actually missing a tooth completely and um, on this gear up here you can see hopefully you can see right there it's missing a tooth um, and the other teeth on there are pretty smashed right in that section all the other ones look pretty good um, but it'll spin, it'll rotate, it'll start closing. But once it gets to that point where it misses those gear, or those teeth don't mate, 
the spring would spring it right back open again. So sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. Um, this is all encased in this motor. Um, so if you have a Zone X, when you change out the motor, you actually change out all the, the gears, um, the whole nine yards, just leave the, the damper in place. Um, then you have to reuse this board. I have the board and everything because I'm not a big fan of Zone X, uh, so we actually went back in with a Honeywell. Um, a lot less working parts than this. It looks like this is put together pretty well, um, but there's a whole a lot of working parts inside of here. Um, the more parts you have, the, the more chance of failure, I guess you would say. The Honeywell is a lot more simple, a lot less to it. Um, does the same exact thing. Um, but like I said, I had this one, so I figured I'd take it apart and see. Um, but similar problem is why the Honeywell fail if the gear gets stripped out. Um, but like I said, on this one, these gears and everything come inside the motor. So if you have to, you can just change the motor. But my personal opinion, I'd put in a Honeywell and be done with it.